Joining us now for more on the RFK Jr. Town Hall, political editor Chris Steyerwald. Chris, good to see you. All right. Um, hi, we heard him say in that interview with Robert that he wants to talk to the middle of America. How much is the discussion tonight to Democratic primary voters? How much of this is for RFK Jr. to talk to either independents or even some disenfranchised Republicans who can vote in open primaries and say, I've got something totally different and anti-establishment, even if you don't agree with me on everything? Look, the first thing I want to say is, without me there on set, I think you're letting Cusack get away with a lot of stuff. <laughs> I think he's out of control. <laughs> I think you need to get Bob, you need to, you need to get Bob under control before anything else happens. That's, that's oh, yeah, all I'll he, tell he, you. He just looks like he's Cusack gone totally wild there. there. I'm, I'm going rogue. Yeah, exactly. just look at the guy. I mean, you it's can, been the whole show. Feel it. Exactly. He'll be rooting for the, <laughs> next thing you know, he'll be rooting for the Steelers. Uh, I don't okay. go that far. So, <laughs> so, uh, so RFK Jr., uh, is a fascinating person who has generated tons and tons of interest, uh, but a lot of it of late has been on the right. Uh, Joe Rogan's podcast and what have you. Uh, and a lot of folks from Tucker Carlson, Donald Trump had nice stuff to say about him. Um, and a lot of folks on the right like what Kennedy's been saying. Now, do they like it because they want to cause mischief? Do they like it because they want him to torture Joe Biden? Uh, do they like it because he lines up with them on guns and on the border and on a lot of issues? Maybe a little of both. But what he's running for is the Democratic nomination. And look, there are, it's obviously an open primary in New Hampshire, uh, and he could bring in a bunch of persuadable voters, but the Republicans are going to have a contest going on on their side, too. If Robert F. Kennedy Jr. wants to be a credible threat to Joe Biden, if he wants to force Joe Biden to debate him or engage with him, he's going to have to make a case to Democratic voters. And what we're going to give him the opportunity to do tonight, uh, thanks to the wonderful Elizabeth Vargas and her great team and everybody around this uh, that, that we're working on today for this evening, is we're going to give him a chance to talk to real, live Democratic voters in New Hampshire, in South Carolina, here in Chicago, and talk to them about why he, their party should take a chance on him uh, and do something nobody's done before. I think it's uh, kind of it's it's something cool to be a part of, something cool to be around. Yeah, it always is, when, especially when we're talking to somebody who seems to occupy so much space in the conversation compared, relatively speaking, to where they are in the polls. Uh, you think about the poll numbers right now at, at 14 percent, and we understand that uh, Mr. Kennedy uh, will not be doing any push-ups or incline bench presses uh, during, during this evening's proceedings. Oh, no, no promises? Okay. Um, how long till the, the weekend, which clearly was the weekend's videos, which were clearly uh, made and put out there to, to poke the White House and President Biden on the age issue, and the, the results of, of people digesting tonight's town hall, uh, which is going to get picked up and uh, the networks are going to be talking about tomorrow morning on the morning shows. How long for that to get digested into the poll numbers that we can really see if introducing himself, getting known by voters, helps him? So we've seen uh, the, the St. Anselm College poll that was just out. We saw a little drop off uh, for Kennedy in New Hampshire. Uh, that's not what he wants. That's not what he wants to say. And he can't let other Democrats brand him as an insurgent. They can't brand him as somebody who is a danger to the party. He's got to make this case to his own party. If he wants to be taken seriously, he's got to lay out an argument tonight to his fellow Democrats why he is the appropriate heir to the legacy of his uncles, of his father, that, he, that this is something important for the Dem Democratic Party to do, not just for all voters, but for the Democratic Party to do. Uh, and he will have a unique opportunity. He'll have a unique stage to do that this evening. And a, na a national stage uh, to, to speak uh, to a primetime audience. Chris, good luck tonight. Uh, I'm popping some popcorn. Count, count the coffee cups after Cusack leaves. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Right. I'll get you back. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.